Hi, my name is Santarin from Team Solar Mid, and this is my basic champion guide to Echo. I think Echo as a solo queue champion is still strong. Um, even after they nerfed his kit, I, I personally have like had a lot of success with Echo in solo queue. Um, his ganks, that's the weird part for Echo. His Echo ganks are really weird because he really relies on you hitting the bubble or you stoning the enemy with the bubble. So like you as an Echo player, you have to be able to land the bubbles correctly in at least like half the scenarios because those scenarios if you land the bubble correctly if you hit the stun he's gonna die so his stun is still really long you can stun for like two seconds or something like that so echo is a solo queue champion in ganging he has like already level three he's really strong in ganging but you really rely on the w echo is not the best at jungling because he gets sort of low in the jungle because his kit doesn't give him any sustain he has the shield from the W, but that's only two seconds. He's not as strong as all the junglers because of his lack of sustain. That's also why people will sometimes do parable smite. And for counter jungling, I don't think Echo is that strong because he doesn't really do that much damage by himself. He is more of a team jungler. And that's also why sometimes like for solo queue, you don't want to play Echo because you want to carry the games. You want to play Lee Sin, you want to play K6, you want to play all those kind of champions that like can destroy the game alone. But if you're a team player and you're really good at playing team fights, then Echo is still a really strong champion. As I mentioned before, Echo's gangs really rely on his W, his bubble. If you can consistently throw out the bubble at the right time and at the right place, then Echo's gangs are really, really strong. But if you're really like if you haven't played Echo that much and you don't really know where to throw the bubble and you mainly just throw it somewhere and you never hit the you never hit the W on them, then Echo as a ganking champion is not that strong. So it really depends if you can hit the W. If you can hit the W, I'd rate him seven or eight out of ten. But if you can't hit W, then I would maybe do four or five because like it, Echo's gang is literally if you hit the bubble, you're really like you, the gang will work. If you don't hit the bubble, it most likely not work. It, if you don't hit the bubble, it really, like, you rely on your team to literally carry the gang. But if you hit the bubble, then you're the one carrying. And that's why I don't think Echo gangs are that efficient unless you can hit the bubble. Echo as a champion is really good in team fighting because if you land the bubble correctly, you can zone three or four people from the team fight. And if they walk into the bubble, you can always jump into the bubble and stun them. And even if you take a lot of damage from doing that, because it'll obviously hit you when you're at the front line, then your team will. 90% of the time they'll kill their frontline faster than they can kill you because you can always ult out when you get low and that's why I really really love Echo as a champion because if you're really low you just ult out and you get some health back and you'll never die in team fights and that's why I think Echo as a champion is really strong in team fights. The only thing that Echo doesn't have that all junglers have is that Stuff like Greg is they have a clear engage so you can just body slam flash. That's something you don't have in Echo and Echo's more of a follow-up jungler, so you won't engage from all your champions such as like Alistair Support or Malka top lane. And if you don't have those kind of engage, you have to play around vision control. So you take control of either Baron or Drake's side, and then you look for a bubble and jump into it. You can play Echo really, really well, but you can still not get the engage most of the time because they can always Touch the bubble, and that's why you have to rely on your teammate in that regard. But in all other points of team fights, Echo is probably one of the strongest jungler in team fight. For Echo, I use AP Quins for a stronger gangs and faster clear. I use attack speed reds also for faster clear and stronger gangs. And then I use armor yellows because Echo takes a lot of damage in the jungle, and you always, always as an Echo, you want to be able to skirmish other people. So armor is really efficient, and same goes to magic Magicus Magic is really strong in skirmishes, so I use magic Magicus blues. On Echo, I do 2192 Masteries because I want the strong early clear and I want the strong gangs. The only thing that I do different on Echo than some of my other Germans is I put points in but put you in Feast because his early clear is not as strong. You take a lot of damage in the jungle. And because I want to be really healthy when I gank and I do Blue Smite, then having those two just helps me being healthy in the jungle and being able to gank. Other people don't need to use the Pujan Feast because they'll do Purple Smite, because Purple Smite helps you a lot in the jungle, and if you have Purple Smite, you don't really need those kind of uh, masteries, but because I do Blue Smite, and I think Blue Smite is stronger than Purple Smite, then I do these. On Echo, I started with W because it does help them, like it does damage when they're low, so if the buff is like, I can't remember, like if it's 15% or lower, then you do extra damage to the buff. 
So since I double jungle with a top laner, then W is really strong because the second it gets low, then you do extra damage to it. After W, I do Q, and after Q, I do E because you you always want to have all three skills as fast as possible because you want to be able to gank. So at level three, you have really strong ganks. Now after that, you max Q for extra damage and slow, and then you max E second and you max W third. On Echo, I normally do blue my Cinder Hulk because you want the early pressure, but Cinder Hulk is still a really, really strong item on Echo because it's a Cinder Hulk as a as a item just scales really well. After Cinder Hulk, I do Side Stone, and this is one of the chains where I feel like Side Stone is really efficient. Like most times, I'll say you can build Side Stone, but in Solo Queue, Side Stone is not that efficient. But on Echo, I think it's really efficient. Because you want to ward up the entire jungle and then you want to sit in the jungle and look for the bubbles. If they enter your vision, then you can bubble on them and kill them. And that's why I think Side Stone is really good. After Side Stone, I'll do tank items. It really depends what I'm against. If I'm against mainly AD, then I'll do Frozen Heart. If I'm against mainly AP, then I'll do ma most likely Banshee or Spirit Visage. It really depends if they have a, if they have stuff like Fresh Elise, then Banshee is really good. But if they don't, then I'll probably do Spirit Visage for the extra cooldown reduction and health uh, region. After that, I'll do the, the other items. So if I did um, a Matrix item, then I'll do an armor item afterwards because they will always have an AD carry that does a lot of damage. So I would probably do Frozen Heart. And after Frozen Heart, it again depends if they have a lot of AP or AD. And if they have a lot of AP, I would do an all magic item. So if I did uh, Spirit Visage before, then I'd do Banshees now. And if they have a lot of AD, then I would do either Dead Man's Plate or Randuance. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the rest of the guides over at lowclass.com. Come then, as they send, you can also do get the pick. So you can queue onto a person and then you can wall jump behind another guy and then you can all the carry into the team. And that's a really, really huge thing to do. If you can land that in a team fight, get one of the carries into your team, you